Over the next couple days, I'm going to be doing some videos on Android and surviving Android. Just talking about some of the applications and some of the ways I do things on an Android device. Uh, so today I'm going to look at uh, F-Droid. If you're not familiar with F-Droid, which I'm sure a lot of you are, F-Droid is a package manager. It's a st software center, whatever you want to call it, that deals in completely open source software. The application itself is open source um, and every package in it is open source and it's really nice when you go there. It may not, it obviously doesn't have nearly as many packages as like the Android store, but this would be a replacement for that. Uh, and even though it's limited, every you know that everything in it is open source. When you go to it, it tells you what license it's under. It even gives you warnings if, even though that's open source, if it's using a non-free service, like maybe it's using something to grab videos from YouTube, it will warn you of that. You can go to the F-Droid website, search through the packages and download them individually, or a better option might be to actually install the F-Droid app, which is free and open source, download that, and that way at least you're getting updates on your system. Uh, if you download it packages individually from the website, you're gonna have to manually go and update them. F-Droid is a great place. Now, I'm one of those people, I have very, very few applications on my phone. Uh, I try to not install anything because almost everything can be done uh, through a shell that I have on here that I'll talk about in, in the next video or through the web browser. Uh, I try to keep all my devices, but especially my phone, very clean and clear and have very minimal stuff installed on it. And uh, But even so, uh, F-Droid is a great place to go and you know that everything on there is open source. I also trust it more than I do uh, the Android store. Uh, I'm pretty sure these guys are very uh, diligent about checking out the packages and where they come from and who's, who's maintaining them. Where something like the, the Android Play Store, the Google Play Store, I'm pretty sure I posted stuff there. Google doesn't know who I am. They don't have access to my source code. How do they know what my applications are doing? Uh, uh, I mean, the stuff I posted wasn't malicious, but it could have been. And nobody knows until, you know, it's, it's too late. Um, not that something couldn't slip through here, but I definitely trust it more. The source code's all available, and I'm pretty sure they're pretty strict about what gets in there. So, F-Droid. Google it. It'll come up. You can go to their website and you can either download packages individually or install their application uh, and that way you make sure you get updates uh, especially when it comes to security updates is an important thing there so check that out F-Droid it's the first step in installing applications that you might need thanks for watching and I hope that you have a great day